Hello everybody, my name is Provis. Welcome back to more Kingdoms Reborn in Darby Helmontashur. We are expanding grossly through the power of trade, making a lot of extra money. Thank you, capitalism. It's amazing. Working towards some gold smelting as well as some jeweling, taking advantage of these trading companies to try and start buying lots of raw resources and export our refined resources, of which I am currently making plenty of Tier 2 luxuries. Tier 1 is the stuff that's being consumed en masse and we're having a little bit of trouble keeping on top of. I am producing plenty of furniture. Um, we should be producing plenty of pottery now. Beer's still struggling a bit. Yeah, we're trying there, but just sort of having some trouble. I mean, a lot of my wheat is being taken up to make bread, and we do need lots of food. And uh, I need to be buying some tulips at this point because I simply cannot seem to get enough. I do not need more immigration. We're actually... Oh, I think I actually just got some more people. Darn it, I said I didn't need that. Fine. Um... We need to be, uh, we need to be watching our, uh, immigration a little bit because I do think we're getting... Too many people in at the moment, and it's just making it harder and harder for me to keep track of all the stuff that I'm going to be needing. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and quick build all these using my little bit of money. Because that way, at least, we can solve the immediate home crisis. And lo and behold, we are completely out of stone because I'm still trying to build up this gigantic freaking castle. I don't even know why I'm trying to build up the castle exactly. The castle's not really needed. It's just a thing that I'm able to do. How are we doing as far as some concrete production? We are producing a little bit. 145 per year is not a lot, but... We can boost up the productivity using our steel, which we are producing down here, and that gets me an extra 55% productivity, so that's pretty helpful. Still need stone, though. That's one of the reasons that we're not producing that much concrete. Let's make sure we continue upgrading things like our bakers, because I still think these are the guys that need the most help in order to get our food situation taken care of. Worst come to worst, though, what we'll do is start importing some cheap food, and food is relatively cheap. It's really not that hard for me to come by. Uh, I know we don't have a ton of fertility over here, but can we possibly get some additional tulip fields and fit them here? Yes, we can. Let's go ahead and build that out. Right behind the steelworks. I'm sure that's not going to be a problem. 1% uh, productivity for every level 8 house. Well, we should have none, actually, because we only have level, uh, level 7 houses. So that's not going to do me a whole lot of good, but oh well. Um, let's try to increase the production target up to a thousand as far as steel, uh, iron bars, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna need plenty of that. We are importing lots of coal, we're back on top of things as far as medicine. Says we're doing okay on steel tools. Oh, sorry, stone tools, no. Steel tools we're doing alright, okay. Huge excess of wool still. I did remember that I actually had not taken this tailor and swapped them to wool clothes. They were still doing leather. Fortunately, I had leather, so it was fine, but we should be using up our wool supply. What I want to do, as soon as we're done with some stuff like clockmakers, is maybe get the cotton mill, so we can start mass-producing cotton fabric. And the cotton fabric can be turned into higher-quality goods. I think. Need a teeny bit more stone over here at the jeweler before we can do anything. Gosh dang, the stone is really such an issue. Why am I building a castle in the industrial age? It doesn't make any sense! What are you doing, you silly man? Those ages are long past. Look, I'm allowed to have vanity projects, all right? Who said that other baker? Boom, done, thank you. Looking solid, looking solid, all right. I do think this is gonna be the last video, um, though it hurts my heart to do so, simply because I am having fun with this. I honestly think that increasingly this game is becoming better than Banished. I talked about that before, but like, I, I genuinely am increasingly enjoying this game. It's just so solid nowadays, so solid. Uh, we don't need to be boosting up the fishing lodge and stuff, but I don't mind getting a little bit of extra food. I'm surprised one of these guys didn't actually have a productivity book. Should have had a productivity book. This one doesn't either. What the heck? What have I been doing wrong this whole time? Uh, I don't know. Fish has still been a very consistent form of food for me up to this point, but I'll live without it. I did set up a whole bunch of cotton fields down over here. Whoops. We do want people to work here, actually. Uh, I set up a bunch of cotton fields in this area simply because if we are going to be having a cotton mill or the cotton gin, or whatever, um, we're gonna wish that we had plenty of cotton being produced. Though we could always buy it, but it's not like I don't have a huge surplus of laborers. That's actually one of the things I'm doing poorly, is I actually would benefit from having a lot more workers. Uh, productivity, and we can actually go further with our gold ore if we use sustainability. Let's spend some bricks to boost these up. Also, go all the way up. By the way, note that if we had electricity, we'd be able to get to electric machinery. That's gonna be a thing soon. Let's go ahead and start producing some of those bars. Now, here's a problem. If you want the jeweler to do anything, then we need jewels, which I don't have. Nor do I have a way of getting yet. Where are jewels in the map? So, load up here. Just looking for any other sources. Our neighbors, well, another AI might have some over there, but that's about it. Uh, and then there's a bunch way over here. We could establish some colonies along the coast, uh, or, you know, something we could do is take advantage of inner city roads. 
That's something I haven't done yet. Um, it would cost me probably a lot of money, but it's not like I'm not making money. Inner City Road can go all the way off in a territory that I don't actually own. Let's see. I can't actually tell if I can get through these mountains or not. I'm hoping so. Is this out of range? Or is it just... Oh, hang on. Yeah, it just can't go through the mountain pass. All right, never mind. Do this. And then we get over here. Yeah, we'll do something like right over here, I guess. And now, if I want to, I can buy a colony and set this up right here. There you go. Do I want a gemstone mine? Yep, that's the whole point. And an inner city logistics hub. Okay. Ore trade. No trading fee for ores, coal, or gemstones. Wow. Well, we do need um, some stuff, but the thing is, I suspect what I'm going to do is trade for lots of food and wood, since I don't plan on turning this into anything other than a gemstone area. So we're going to go for trade for a living, and let's go ahead and immediately set up a couple of houses, like so, and we'll just go ahead and quick build all of these because I've got money. Having lots of money is pretty helpful, who knew? Uh, and then, yeah, we want a gemstone mine. These guys primarily, their living is going to be simply... Mining for gems. Oh, we dig, 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 da, 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 da. I don't remember the actual name of all of the... Uh, sorry, the uh, lyrics for the uh, Seven Dwarves song. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Uh, Promise Colony, people are dying left and right. No, no cannibalism. That's ridiculous. Uh, we're going to name you... If I didn't have caps lack on, Gimliesburg. There we go. That'll work. Gimli's burger will be cute. Okay, so people can go and do this. We still have homeless people. Are you serious? Do this. And then, since it doesn't have a trading fee, what we can do is place down some trading companies. And these guys aren't exactly going to have a uh, very diverse and healthy diet or anything, but, I mean, they'll have food. We'll just go ahead and place down a couple of these. And maybe a third because we still need things like coal and stuff anyway. And then we'll just go ahead and quick build all of these. And then we are going to import, let's say, some bread, since apparently that's cheap. I'll import up to 500. And over here, we're going to import some coal. Import up to, let's say, 200. And then here, we're going to import probably a different type of food. How about cabbage? Another couple hundred of that. There you go. And just from that, we'll be spending our money in order to trade and get stuff. These guys are building up a gemstone mine. Let's go ahead and make sure that they are building... Uh, sorry, they're working lots of hours over here. Maybe not that many hours, it turns out. Uh, I should have the ability to get the inner city transport, right? Here it is. Okay. So we place this down here. And I'll just go ahead and quick build so we don't need to actually bring over any lumber. And we are going to go... No, not from Darby Hill, Montessure. Target city taken from. We could just import some basic resources like, let's say, some stone and wood. Because we know we're going to need basics. Uh, stone, maybe some steel tools be wise. And then maybe a tier one luxury like, let's say, furniture. Okay, so we're bringing in, let's say, a couple hundred wood. A couple hundred stone in case we need it. 50 tools, and 50 furniture. And they're not going to be very happy houses, but they might get up to, like, level 2. And the whole point is this is just a very basic colony. Nothing else. Okay. So we can now start in, uh, importing some goods. And we shouldn't even have to pay trading fees for a lot of this kind of stuff. Except, of course, for, you know, the coal. But that's fine. So now we're making all of this. Uh, we will boost up how many workers can be there. We will boost up how much productivity we get. I wish we had some bricks and some stones so we could boost this up. I could certainly buy some. What if, instead of some cabbage, we bought some bricks for a second? Let's just wait a second, get some bricks, we can upgrade the shaft. We can probably do the same thing with the glass and whatnot, too. There we go. Now we'll swap a few back over to the cabbages. And we didn't buy any bricks? Okay, hang on. They actually didn't need to do another check. That was my mistake there. Regardless... Here we go. Now they're buying some bricks. All right, fine. Storage full. Tell you what, we'll build a warehouse. 
And I don't want to import any bricks, so let's just go ahead and quick build and spend money. Boom. There we go. All right. So back home then, now that I am officially producing a small amount of gemstones, and it's it's not a lot, but it's something, we can place down another one of these inner city logistics hubs to get placed right over here. And I'll quick build you since I don't have stone. And from Gimlisburg, gemstones is what I want to be importing up to, I don't know, let's say 500 or something like that. That's all that we care about. Okay. So as we start getting the gemstones, we can bring that in, and they'll be able to work over here the jeweler, and the jeweler will be a happy camper. Go ahead and boost up how much we're spending on this. 31 gems and 31 gold turning into 103 jewelry. Seems all right, and we can actually get a huge productivity boost from level 7 houses, which I have a lot of. But once we get this going, I'm thinking this is going to turn into a whole load of level 8 houses, which is going to be even better for me. There's the castle, by the way. It looks pretty good, actually. Hello, castle. Castle looks great. Nice castle. It's a very nice castle you got there. Uh, Food-wise. Oh, boy. Yeah, not, not doing great. Let's boost up those bakers. This is how we're staying alive. Um, I really wish the inner city logistics hub could upgrade its appearance to match the rest of the city, but oh well. Clockmakers is done. Good. Let's go for the cotton mill next. Would I like a clockmaker? You bet I would. I would love a clockmaker. Uh, we'll place you right up over here. We have the resources for it, so we might as well. Could boost up some stuff. We haven't been boosting up things like beer breweries yet. We can go ahead and boost up the work speed a little higher. We'll go ahead and do that there. Furniture workshop, sure, why not? Potters, let's go ahead and boost you guys up as well. I'm trying to increase my tier one luxury production. We're actually on top of most of this. It's tulips and cannabis, and that one I can't upgrade easily without a lot more farming tech. That's the real kicker. Still making lots of money, and we are capped out on influence. Absolutely capped out. Well, that's fine, probably. Uh, I'm going to spend the money and just boost this right there. Boom. And we can use steel to boost you up with the advanced machinery. Again, level 8 houses. But you know what? I think that's going to happen over time. Glass and gold. That is what is going to create the clocks. Okay. Good with me. And we should start seeing level 8 and maybe even level 9 houses getting built up very soon. I imagine we're going to get some sort of a pop-up. We're doing all right on things like coal, doing all right on things like medicine, still okay on stuff like steel tools. Wood, we are now consuming lots of. It might be worth importing some soon. That'll be cheap, so I'm not too worried about it. Other goods, still mostly fine. Plenty of wheat flour, more sand than I have any idea what to do with, and we actually have a surplus of concrete, which means I should go around and start upgrading things like, let's say, the brickworks, and maybe this other potter, other luxuries and such that could benefit. Taylor, eh. I don't know if we need to upgrade that yet. How about some more furniture workshops? Keep that all going. Uh, we'll upgrade the candle maker. We'll upgrade this beer brewer. Just faster work speed across the board. Upgrade the windmill. More potters over there. More beer brewers over here. There we go. Let's produce plenty of coal in the coal mine. And this blacksmith is kind of doing his thing. I'll go ahead and boost you up too. Why not? We've got the concrete to spare. Let's just do it. Okay. So everything's starting to look really cool. Um, I'll go ahead and boost up this candle maker as well. If we need to upgrade any of these. Sand mine? Mm, don't need yet. Charcoal burner? Honestly, the charcoal burner feels like really an unimportant job. I'll just reduce how many people are working over there, but it's not like it matters that much. It doesn't do me a whole lot of good. Why does the paper maker not get any upgrades? Answer, because it will be able to get a paper mill soon enough. After the cotton mill, we might consider doing exactly that. Oh, let's make sure that we are constantly boosting up these bakers as usual. Well done! We have our first level 8 house! Really? Where? Where's the level 8 house? I want to see it! Without the snow! Covering it all, of course. Where? Upgrades, upgrades. I'm looking for upgrades. More immigrants. No. I'm sorry. Tears rolled down their face. One tear. But, for real. Where are the... Is this it? <gasps> there it is! Ooh, it looks like something out of Thomas Kincaid paintings. Well, that's pretty nice. So yeah, having these extra tier 3 luxuries seems to have done the job. Well, that's pretty darn good. Is tier 8 the highest level you can get? I don't know the answer to that, but maybe. Regardless, pretty cool. Pretty cool, I'd say. Let's go ahead and upgrade you, and then, I don't know, let's swap you over to some more sustainability books for a bit. There is an upgrade we could buy. Uh... Where was it? I don't remember where it was. There's an upgrade somewhere where we can start manufacturing the, um... 
uh, motivation and passion books and such, which I don't really care about that much. Mushroom farms, yay. Have fun producing some extra food from wood. It's actually very cheap. Three wood turning into 75 food is a pretty good deal. I probably shouldn't have been hammering against those mushroom farms as much as I have in the past. They seem reasonably decent, but whatever. All right, so yeah, food-wise, still trucking along. I do think we're gonna need to start importing some pretty soon. We're still making loads of money, though. Tier 1 Luxuries, I've nailed down some of these really well. I really have. But we could do better. More wine would be nice. How many grapes we got? 200. The thing is, people eat grapes, too. That's part of the problem. I got 3,000 chocolate? My god, I'm so good at making chocolate. Well, that'll make all the women of the world happy, right? Probably. Let's go ahead and get teamwork so we can get an extra boost to the gold smelter, since apparently we need lots of that coming in there. Yup, 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 yup. And we should be doing all right in terms of things like the gemstones, I think. People seem to be producing the uh, jewelry just fine. So where are my clocks is my question. Clocks. Are they just immediately getting delivered places? Where are clocks? Clocks have got to be a tier three luxury, right? Pocket watch. Yeah. It says we just produced a bunch, but they're not getting placed into storage. These are cool. Look at the slightly different color tile. Yeah, they are getting delivered. Okay. So we are we are getting those sent around. That's one of the reasons we're getting these level 8 houses everywhere. Which is great. And note, by the way, that they are producing a pretty decent... Actually, it looks like almost the exact same amount of income. And science. You need three types of luxuries to get these to level 8 houses. It certainly seems like level 8 houses don't get you that much. Actually, I'm slightly disappointed by that, but okay. Let's go for electricity. I don't need paper mills. Let's get a cotton mill card. Yep. Okay, so if we place this, you know, over here or something, I mean, it's going to make a lot of people upset. I can't even fit it, actually, so I guess that avoids that issue entirely. Tell you what, the cotton mill gets placed right over here. Boom. So, let's get that thing constructed. 50,000 gold is more than I'm really willing to spend. Frankly, these resources aren't that insurmountable. Boost up the bakers once again. Gosh, we might just want to build more bakers at some point soon. Seriously. We always need more. Lots of level 8 houses getting built out here now, by the way. Lots of them getting built out. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. You know something we could do? Get a bank! And start exploiting these people for even more money! Because I love money. Yeah, that would be worth a lot of gold. Boom! Just build that right up. Thank you. And now we can explore these guys for 50% more income. Now they're producing 285. See? Now I'm up to almost 14... Th I'm over 14k again. Oh, this is good to be king. It is good to be king! We make so much money! Look at all the money! Let's start producing some concrete a little bit faster. I do want to have plenty of that going around. Though we should probably set a production target and we'll make it... Eh, a thousand actually is probably fine. Same with all of you guys. A thousand, a thousand. I just don't want people wasting too much time on goods that we don't actually need. Though remember, what we could do is start making excess of these tier 3 goods and start selling them on the market and that will easily pay for all the raw goods that we are importing. I kind of feel like we need to be getting some more wineries, some more chateaus, if you don't mind. That would be kind of nice. Um, let's go to Emyaliton. And let's make sure we are producing more grapes. Yes, there's some harsh terrain over here and stuff, but you know, grapes, the best grapes anyway, are the ones that have to work a little hard. I feel like that should be reflected in this game. I feel like grapes that have to work extra hard in order to get uh, grown should produce better quality wine, because that's how it works in the real world. Uh, and I'll go ahead and set up another farm like over here or something. Um, you can make grape vines. You can make... You can't make grape vines. We're already at our end. Okay, fine. Make some pumpkins. And make some... Medicinal herbs. I mean, we're importing medicine and stuff, right? Are we? Yeah, we are. We actually don't need medicinal herbs. Fine. Make make potatoes. I don't care. Let's go do something. We're full on storage. Uh-oh, that's not good. Well, let's go ahead and build out another warehouse right here, then. I'll quick build you. Why are people unhappy here? What's with the happiness? Jobs? They don't like the jobs. Well, fair enough. I mean, if I could get some extra passion jobs and stuff for you, that would probably be worthwhile. I'm going to go ahead and reduce your work hours so you can be happier. You guys don't even be working quite as hard as you have been. I'll go ahead and boost up the gold mine and stuff, too. That should start seeing the happiness go up a little bit. Not much in the way of entertainment. Problem is easily solved with the placement of a tavern. Taverns are going to solve the problem. Hello, tavern. Right here. 
Quick build. Boom! And now you guys will be thrilled. See? Look at that. And you guys think that I'm not a benevolent ruler. Oh, God. Why do we have so much population over here all of a sudden? Dunno. Uh, I don't need it. But I'll go ahead and just build out a couple extra houses. Yeah, I actually want to get rid of some of these people. But Gimliesburg is doing fine. Um, so we don't need this many bricks. Let's upgrade you. And now I need glass. So let us import a bit of glass. Okay. Just a little bit. They'll do a quick check. Let's say 100 is really all we need. And it'll check that in just a moment. So that should boost this up. We have some stone. Let's get the productivity going. 70% happiness is tolerable over here at the very least. No. I think maybe we accidentally brought in some immigrants and that's part of our problem over here. Oops. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, that would be a thing. Well, once we get some glass, we can boost up the gemstones a little bit more. We are producing, it looks like, 40 per season, which is enough for only a couple of batches of our jewelry, which isn't fantastic, but I guess I'll kind of live with it. Lots of level 8 houses getting built out all of a sudden. Hello. This feels pretty good. This feels really good, in fact. Lots of jewelry getting built out over here. And that's, by the way, why you don't worry too much about placing your initial town hall next to things like gemstones. We don't really care. I can just build out a colony if I want to extract a single resource, and we're done. How is the cotton mill doing? Well, we can boost you up. And we can get advanced machinery, since I have plenty of that going. And boost, boost, and there we go. Now we're making cotton fabric. Now, I would rather make dyed cotton fabric. Because guess what we have that we have not used up until this exact moment? Dyes. I've got lots of them. So now we can start making much, much better cloth. We just need to have this stuff actually getting delivered over here. Import target reached for what? Wheat? Mm, apparently. Uh, no, I don't need more immigrants. Please leave a let. Mm, go away. Go away. We don't, we don't care. We don't need you. Get out of here. All right, there we go. We're now producing some. Hang on. Boost it up. I want some of that dye. Let's get that stuff going and see what's going to happen with it. So now that we have dyed fabric, I can do what with it? Um, I thought we'd be able to swap this and say specifically make it out of cotton fabric. Cotton clothes. What's the advantage here? It makes significantly more clothes for the same approximate amount of goods. Huh. But what's the advantage of the dye? Fashionable clothes. Fashionable clothes. We saw something about that earlier. High fashion? Ah, okay. So yes, right now we actually are not able to make fashionable clothes with dyed fabric. But we will be able to if I can simply get myself one more major upgrade. Boost up the bakers, Baker Street. Get lots of m bread and money. I don't know. Uh, why does the gold smelter not have the right roof color when it's been upgraded? I don't know the answer to that question. That's probably important somewhere. I don't know. Let's boost up the tulip importing. Um, let's boost up the glass works. We have plenty of that coming in. Let's boost up another medicine maker because we can. I'm just looking for ways to expend this concrete to be a little bit better. I might as well make things look right too, right? Yeah, might as well. Boost that up too. Boom, boom, boom. Glass melter. Yes, by the way, we did find our glass melter, which is producing the raw glass. The glass works down over here is what's producing the luxury good. And I'm going to go ahead and set this up to, let's say, a thousand. So we have plenty of those tier twos coming in. And yeah, I think we need to start importing some additional, like, cannabis and stuff. We need more tier one luxuries consistently. Let's go for high fashion. Although we now can build a coal power plant. That sounds like fun. Um, let's go for the wild card and get another trading company. And I'm going to start creating a giant trading street, probably. Not far from the castle. And I'm thinking a warehouse or two is going to be in order as well. Okay, get that all set like so. Thank you. And another trading company back over here. There we go. That stuff will get built up soon enough. Coal power plants takes... A reasonable amount of resources, truth be told. This doesn't seem that bad. Um, what if I place the power plants kind of out over here? Sure, let's try that. I feel like this shouldn't even be that expensive to quick buy. It's not. So we've got a coal power plant, and we're probably going to want to have, yep, another trading company producing some of the coal or buying the coal outright, which we will use to then supply 
our power plant. So we'll do that. Um, only two people work here, and I can't upgrade it. We need to increase you up to, let's say, 1,500. Electric machinery is an upgrade we can do. There we go. It says it consumes nothing. Consumes zero kilowatts of electricity. Well, what about this? This does consume seven kilowatts, but we could boost up our concrete production. How many kilowatts do we produce? 50. Okay. So that means we can only produce a handful of upgraded buildings. We have to be very careful about which we get upgrades for. Well, given that food is consistently a problem, I'm thinking we upgrade this. Only consumes four. Okay, hang on. That should change up the math. So we're going to be using up um, 16 kilowatts of power by upgrading the bakers with power. Okay, so these guys will be working faster than ever, which means hopefully we are staying further on top of our food needs. Okay. What else do we need a uh, huge excess of? At the moment, I have no idea. Um, hmm. What do we spend this power on? It does say we're using the 16 out of 50. So that's good. Boost you up all the way. I actually don't even know why I just did electric stuff there. It doesn't matter. I mean, it says 50% power, but it consumes nothing. I guess you might as well boost this if you have the steel. Let's import some cannabis. Until you've got, let's say, 600. And let's uh, focus on importing more tulips. So you got 600. Okay. We definitely want to be reducing our trade fees. It would make a huge difference right now. It really would. Plenty of steel coming in. Holy crap. Let's uh, let's set a production target here for like, I don't know, 3,000. And then after that, stop. We could boost you up for another 10. We actually have level 8 houses now, so we can do that. I don't need the Steelworks Guild. Boost you up so you work a little faster. We have concrete. We can get more iron smelting. Decrease input? Sure. And that's all we need there, too. Huh. This is interesting. Uh, it says we're actually producing a load of food. I think that actually made a big difference. I think it made a big difference. Very interesting. Okay, well, yeah. Now, the thing is, if you don't want to be using coal... In the future, we can get petroleum. Reveals oil resources on the map, and oil power plants convert one oil into two kilowatts of electricity as opposed to one coal into one kilowatt. So, in theory, then, that would mean that oil is just that much better. Exhibition hall, I only need two more level eight houses? Hello. And oil rigs are gonna be a thing pretty soon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, can we get a couple more level eight houses? I feel like the answer to that has gotta be yes. Uh, boost, boost. Dunskies, and get you here, and then we get some nice little trees to boost up the appeal, and boom. Quick build, quick build, bricks and stone, bricks and stone, and those will get upgraded pretty soon, and that would actually be the hundred that I would need in order to get the exhibition hall. Man, we actually are, like, close to really finishing this game out. I mean, should be told, you know, if this is going to be the last video, like, we're kind of stopping right before, like, the quote-unquote end, and I'm sort of okay with that. Oh my god, we consume coal fast now, holy crap. I'm going to boost up the electric machinery so we can import a little faster over here. Trading fee, it says, is 0%. Wait, what? Trade Relations Companies Act Trading Company Upgrade Level. Because we upgraded it sufficiently, it no longer is giving me any trading fees? Well, crud. I don't need to be doing more trade relations at all, it turns out. We're just that good. Thank you for the extra 10% from the Companies Act. Heck yeah, man. That means even more trading for me and even more money being saved. Holy crap, I'm making a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. I think we need to be ending up this video and this series, but you guys are getting a good sense of just how freaking far you really can go at some point with this. Pretty ludicrous, honestly, how exceptionally um, powerful some of this industrialization really becomes. That's a great thing about the game. It scales well, right? Like... It doesn't feel like we're just slowly plodding along. It feels like once we got to the industrial age, things got frantic. All of a sudden, we had so many production options, which makes perfect sense based on, you know, how the real world would work. As we got to the industrial era and production just took a huge dive up, you would find yourself in a position where all of a sudden you are producing more goods than you know what to do with and your human population explodes and happiness is now at a hundred and we're making huge amounts of wealth. This is the progression of human civilization. I think this game is capturing that in a pretty efficient way and I'm very, very pleased with how it's turning out. The only thing this game really needs now 
is going to be a competitive AI. I mean, if we take a look at some of the other AIs over here and just see what they've been up to, I'm willing to bet effectively nothing. Yep, there they are. Still living in tiny little huts and stuff. If this game... Th I mean, this game's already really fun as a single player. It's really fun as a single player. But if this game gets to a point where it's competitive and these other nations are actually spreading, we have to fight over territories, and it becomes like a cross between Civ and Banished rather than a much better version of Banished, this game is going to be amazing. I'm really impressed with it, and I look forward to coming back to it in the future. But for now, I think Darby Hill Montessor is about done. I think we've shown off everything we want to, and I'm willing to walk away from it and start playing some more games. Thank you all for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this as much as I did. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.